Oh, but she's lovely, isn't she? I could eat her, honest, I could. Oh. Is she sleeping all right? Mm, she is, as a matter of fact. I mean, after Nicky, I can hardly believe it. Ah, well, that's girls for you, isn't it? Say what they like, the lot easier than the lads any time. Brian! Well, uh, I wasn't expecting you until tonight. Uh, don't tell me you've driven all the way down from Scotland in one morning. Yeah, of course you have. It's not like in your day, you know, Mum. We've got this marvellous new invention called motorways. Hmm. So, this is it then. The new Sprog. This is her. And her name's Sarah, actually. I'm just saying, a lot less trouble than you were. Uh... Well, you know why that was, don't you, Mum? Because I had a very inquiring mind. That's what it was, was it? Yeah, but of course. How was Scotland then? Oh, it's full of jocks and jockesses. You know, great, really. In fact, uh, I can't remember when I enjoyed myself more. Well, that's the important thing. Yeah, I think it is. Uh, which reminds me, uh, I brought Nick a present back. That's very nice. I've got and left it in Liz's bag, though. Uh, I'll nip over the safety and pick it up. I'll, I'll get Mum to drop it off. Right. Well, I think I'd better be off. I'll see you. See you out. Something wrong, is there? Wrong. Well, you've hardly been the life and soul of the party this last half hour. Well, I'm sorry, love, but when I think of that, that Brian flaunting his new fancy piece right underneath your nose, and you lumbered with that one. The last time, I mean, he wasn't flaunting her. He just happened to mention her name, that's all. Oh, one. yeah, accidentally on purpose, you mean? No, I don't think he did, actually. And just for the record, being landed with this one is not exactly how I see it, all right? I mean, that's as bad as having a call the new Sprog. The new Sprog? on earth car to that? Oh, never mind. It's not worth it. Oh, hello. Hi. Oh, ain't she lovely? She takes after our side of the family, doesn't she? Definitely. Huh? Hey, I'll tell you what, it's a good job she's not my flesh and blood. She could be in deep trouble. Oh, I don't know, Alf. You've a lovely complexion. Hey, well, a lot of folks say that. It comes <laughs> from having a clear conscience. <laughs> hey, is it true that uh, Ken Barlow's ringing against you for the council? Ah, uh, yes, that's right. Are you still speaking? Of course I am. Look, politics doesn't have to be all slangy matches, you know. Oh, I thought it did. I thought it was I'm right, you're wrong, and who cares about facts and the truth? Yeah, well, it won't be like that between Ken and me, because we've shaken hands on having a good, clean fight, haven't we, Deirdre? Uh, yes. Whatever that means. It means there'll be no dirty tricks. We should be judged on our beliefs and our policies. The trouble with Arthur is he's got too many principles. It makes you soft. Ken's got principles as well, you know, Audrey. Did I say he hadn't, Deirdre? Oh, hello, hello. Hello, Ivy. How's little one? She's fine. Oh. Slept through to late o'clock this morning. She looks a contented little thing, don't she? Oh, she is, isn't she, Gail? So far. Uh. <laughs> yes, well, have you got me uh, bouquets, love? Oh, yes, love, they're in the back. I'll get her. Gail tells me Brian really enjoyed himself in Scotland, Ivy. Yes, sir, I think he did. Lucky for some, maybe being able to go on holiday this time of year. Well, you haven't had only for a long time, not a proper one. Neither is Gail. Ma'am! He seems, uh, well, <gasps> very friendly with this... Uh... That, that's, that's all we are, you know. Just friends. Oh, just good friends, eh? Yes. And going on holiday together. <laughs> Still, I suppose I'm a bit old-fashioned. Right, yes. I Oh, yeah. how much do I owe you, Four fifty, please, love. Thank you. There were no need for that. I keep telling you, whatever Brian does, he's no business of ours anymore. What I think it is, it's that little thing there, that's his responsibility. He should be spending his brass on her, not some flag. Ma'am! Well, I'm just fed up with folks trying to do us down. <laughs> Into dinky. You shouldn't keep buying them things, ma'am. You turn up with something new practically every time you come. Well, I love buying things for my grandchildren. I like to see them look smart. Only yet, listen, don't let on to Alfie. You got them, not just now. He's uh, just a bit prickly. Uh, I can imagine. Uh, I read the recorder. Oh, hello. Hello. Wouldn't it be easier to use them disposable nappies? Definitely. I can't afford them. I'll buy you some. I can manage perfectly well with these, ma'am. He's gone to live with her, you know. Who has? Brian's gone to live with... What's her name? Liz. Are you certain? Ivy told me. 
Well, well. Is that all you're going to say? What else can I say, ma'am? Well, I know what you've got ma'am. every right to say. Oh, come on, girl, you should tell him. He's got another child to pay to, not flashing his money about on his fancy woman. Oh. No, ma'am. Oh, I don't understand you, girl. Scrimping and saving, washing nappies while he's flying his kite. No, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I mean it. No. I can manage. Well, you can't manage, girl. Anyway, why should you just have to... I manage? can. I've got to. All right. The road. Uh, no, I did a couple of hours overtime last week and you can either have money or take time off, so I've took a couple of hours off this oh, afternoon. I'm losing the money. Oh, don't matter. It's worth it, isn't it, love, to see my little lovelies. Give us a ear. Oh, hey. She's put a bit of weight on, hasn't she? Well, yeah, she's not doing bad. Oh. Shall I put the kettle on? Oh, no, go on. Sit yourself down, I'll do it. Right. Oh, sit down. And be here. When are you having your hair done? Uh, four o'clock. I hear Brian was in the Rovers this dinner time. With a ladyship. Well, we can't stop him seeing odd girl, can we? He can see as many girls as he wants. The more the better. It's when it's just the one. Well, she seems a nice enough person. I used to think I was a nice enough person. <laughs> hey, hey, come on, shut your face. Put your coat on. Your mum will be here soon. We best be off. I'll wait in the car. Oops. How are you doing? Oh. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. What have I told you about eating sweets? Who gave you that? That lady over there. Well, spit it out. Go and get ready. I'll get him washed. I'll get the car started. I think we'd better have a talk about your access to the children. Why? I'm quite happy. And it's not the children, it's uh, just Nicky. I only want what's mine. And I want what's mine. I'm bringing these kids up properly, Brian. I'm not going to have it undermined by your friends. Nicky! Okay, listen. Why should I listen now? No, I've been busy moving. I tried to catch you this morning, but you'd already set off. Brian, six months back, if there were any permanent changes, any really special relationships developing, that we'd get together and we'd discuss it. Well, there were, and you didn't, so it's too late. I want to talk about it now, all right? You want to come thundering up to me in a pickup truck and yell abuse at me in the street, you mean? Oh, get lost, Brian. You're being unreasonable. Well, it's my turn, isn't it? Leaving me to walk into that room and see Nicky taking sweets off her. Look, I know that you're okay, but I want to make things right, Gail. Oh, go and enjoy yourself, Brian. Put yourself first. It doesn't ring true when you try to be concerned. And look who's flaming talking. Yeah, and realise how useless you are. seemed disappointed that we'd not been calling. Oh, she's good at that either. Why are you doing this to her? Why are you doing that to her? Never mind what her son's doing to you. No, she looked really down. I felt sorry for her. She's a real clinger, Ivy. She likes to think folks are at her beck and call, that we all owe her something. I think you're being unfair. Oof, am I? Anyway, I said I'd drop Nicky off for a couple of hours tonight, so uh, I thought I'd leave him there and then come round here if you're not going out. Yeah. I mean, yeah, of course. It's just that... Do you think that's wise, lovey? I thought you said you were going to try and keep Nicky away from Brian's fancy piece. Well, apparently, 
She's hardly ever been to the house. Oh! <laughs> Ivy say that, did she? She said she's been no more than a couple of times at the most. Yeah, well, I'll take that with a pinch of salt and I'll... Oh! Anyway, why can't she come to your home if she's so keen? Why have you got to do all the uh, trailing about? Well, I think she just likes the idea of Nicky visiting her, you know. Being at his grandma's house rather than his own. Yeah, never mind all the trouble it's causing you. Well, if I can get Sarah Louise down, Pauline will come round for a couple of hours tonight. Television's on the blink, so I know she'll jump at the chance. And like I said, I can come round here. Yeah, all right, lovely. But mark my words, Ivy will say out to get her hands on these kids. She'll say one thing to you and then something entirely different to Brian. I think you're wrong, ma'am. I hope I am. 